I'm whopping you to rival gaming here. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this Borderlands 3 experiment. We're going to be figuring out the different outcomes that we can get from the Healers and Dealers side mission. This is actually one of Claptrap's side missions that we are required to do if we want to get his secret side mission, which is Baby Dancer. We have to complete all of his side missions and then this extra side mission is unlocked from him. And it's a really wholesome one. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link down below in the description to the video. It's a previous experiment episode we just recently did here on the channel. But yeah, in this experiment, once again, we're going to be doing this side mission, Healers and Dealers, and we're going to have to gather medical supplies for this guy. A vault hunter? What are you doing up in here? The small robot said it was about your lost staff. Seriously? I put that request up like seven years ago, back when I had a respectable establishment, not this crap pile you see now. But I am glad you're here. See, I'm trying to help out all the poor bastards affected by this war, but yo, straight up, we are running short on med supplies. We need hexaprizine, skag oil, melodinax, and hemopax. Track some down for me, will ya? So when we go to track down these medical supplies, we'll come across a scenario where we can have two different choices to choose from. The first outcome we're going to be figuring out is what happens when we intimidate this person. Let's go ahead and get into this. <laughs> that punk ass is a black market dealer. I'll bet dollars to D's nuts he stole those supplies. Dude's a pushover though. Just threaten him and he'll give him up. Ready to go? I got some supplies here and I'm happy to sell them for a reasonably marked up price. I'm just trying to feed my family. You understand, right? Please, don't shoot. There's been enough bloodshed around here. Just give me the cash and we can make a deal. Yeah, yeah, we've all got a sob story. As for me, I've got patience to heal and no patience to deal. Just threaten him and be done with it. You don't know what it's like down here. People don't eat for days. It's a nightmare. Easy, easy. No need for violence, just cash on the table. If you don't give up the supplies, I will be forced to intimidate you. Would you like to see that? Whoa, whoa! Okay, fine. Take them. They're yours. Just please, don't hurt me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! You had that fool straight up fear dumping! I know what you're thinking. What's this doctor doing trying to be a rapper? But listen, medicine, it comes and goes. But my rhymes? <clears throat> That's healing for the soul. Look, just let me spit something for you. See, I bust raps like I bust caps, and that's that. Don't mess with my knapsacks full of fat stacks, or else you get the clapbacks. Word? Word. <laughs> Looks like we're still a little short on hemoglobin. Hemoglobin disrobing is the title track on my mixtape, by the way. Did you want one, or... No? Still no? Okay, screw it. I'll donate some of my own. Grab this empty emo pack and give me an assist. Okay, now. Very, very carefully. Just... Delicately use the hemo pack on my arm, okay? Oh, yep. Okay, that'll do. I apologize. Okay, um, thanks, I think. But at least maybe this will finally give me some street cred. Uh, maybe I'll get one of those sweet Atlas robot arms. But hey, don't worry about me, I'll survive. And so my patience, thanks to you. Now Schuler is finally ready to staff up and heal the hurt. <laughs> Last chance on that mixtape, by the way. Still no? Word? Word. Okay, so that's the scenario we got from intimidating Harden. This time, we're going to be giving him the money for his family. Let's see what happens when we do that. I got some supplies here, and I'm happy to sell them for a reasonably marked up price. I'm just trying to feed my family. You understand, right? Please, don't shoot. There's been enough bloodshed around here. Just give me the cash, and we can make a deal. Yeah, yeah, we've all got a sob story. As for me, I've got patience to heal and no patience to deal. Just threaten him and be done with it. You don't know what it's like down here. People don't eat for days. It's a nightmare. I will overlook your transgression, so you may feed your pack. Wow, thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me and my family. Yo, that's all the medicine! We still need another.
another hemo pack, but we'll figure it out. Come on back, player. I know what you're thinking. What's this doctor doing trying to be a rapper? But listen, medicine, it comes and goes. But my rhymes, that's healing for the soul. Okay, so when we actually did it the nice way and helped out Hardin's family, when we go to return to Ace to complete the quest, he has this additional voice dialogue to say. Oh, by the way, that Hardin guy stopped by. He wanted you to have this. His way of saying thanks, I guess. Word. <laughs> Last chance on that mixtape, by the way. Still no? Word. Word. So taking the nice route within this side mission by giving Harden $1,000 for his family, we get this shield in return as a thank you. As you can see, it's called MSRC Auto Dispensary. The flavor text reads, better living through medical science. And what's special about this shield is as you can see, on taking damage, it has a 35% chance to drop an upper or downer pill. These pills provide buffs, but can have some bad side effects. So yeah, as you can see, you do pop out these red and green pills on taking damage. Both of these last for eight seconds, and the positive effects from taking the downers is that it increases damage, increases your damage reduction, and increases your reload speed. The side effects are it decreases fire rate and move speed. Also, you constantly lose health. Once again, it only lasts for eight seconds though, and it does give you quite a bit of additional damage. Anyways, the uppers, once again, this lasts for eight seconds. The positive effects from this is that it increases the move speed, fire rate, and health regeneration. The downfall is it decreases damage, accuracy, and handling. So, yeah. All in all, a pretty unique shield, and the only way to get this is by, once again, giving Harden a thousand bucks for his family. And you get the shield in return. Pretty cool to know, so yeah, if you're doing this side mission, remember to do that if you want a unique reward. You won't get anything special from Intimidate and Harden. All you'll get is a cash reward at the end from Ace, and some different dialogue that I just showed you in this video. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this Borderlands 3 experiment. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and you learned something new out of this. I know I did. If you did, uh, consider leaving a like and hey, maybe if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing. As always though, that is totally up to you. Also, once again, I am running a giveaway over on my Instagram if you want to participate in that. I'm out of here though, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.